Welcome back to Cookies Fish Room. Once again, you're joined here on the couch by Norm. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's going to be a quick video today because this is a topic that gets spoken about a lot. Um, it's a quite easy topic to cover, but for some reason, not many people, I guess, um, know the answer to this question. How do I look after my fry? In particular, guppy fry, but it could be any fry. So, um, there's not much difference to looking after fry apart from stopping them getting eaten and, and what you feed them. So, number one, especially with guppy fry, they're absolutely tiny. They're minute little creatures. So, you want to make sure you keep the other fish away from them. Um, I do recommend keeping them in a netted breeder box, the one that's in our... Um, breeder box uh, video. You can find that further down the line. For those who subscribe to us, I'll know where to find it. Um, you keep a bit of uh, a few plants in it, some moss, anything plant-wise. They love to sit on the leaves in the, in the you know between swimming and eating. So basically all these little creatures do is swim and poop. So this will allow, this netted box will allow flow and current to come through this um, netted breeder box. It doesn't just sit there if you have a sold one, it will just build up nitrates and ammonia, and eventually these little dudes will die. It will drop off one by one. So um, this is the whole reason why the netted ones are a heap better than the, um, the harder plastic ones. Um, it's so much easier to keep an eye on these guys if they are in this breeder box rather than in a big tank where they could be hiding. A lot of people say, you know what, just have a planted tank and let them swim for their lives. Yeah, you could do that, but they're going to be chased 90% of the time and they're not going to be out, they're going to be out competed for food. They're going to be um, eaten and they're going to be hiding. So it's not a healthy mindset and not a healthy environment for them. Keep them in the netted breeder box. Um, so they can eat as much as they need and what the more they eat, as long as it's good food, the better it is for them. Remember, it's not good just to feed them a whole heap of crap. To, if they just won't grow up healthily, their immune systems will be shot. So um, now that brings me on to the topic of what to feed these guys. Basic, if you've got really good flake food for your adult fish, um, again, I stress about 40% protein upwards, you can crush that into fine dust and feed that into uh, to the fry. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I feed Hikari first bites. It's, it's you're basically, you're basically feeding them um, crap. It's rubbish. Don't give it to them. You're not doing them any favors for their immune systems and their health. Give them um, good quality um, flakes that have been crushed by yourself. The other thing that I like to personally give them is high protein. It's just hard boiled egg yolk. All you have to do is boil an egg, obviously, get a tiny piece of it, uh, be about a quarter of your, your little finger nail, and drop it in there and they go crazy for it. They love the taste of it. It's super healthy for them. And then lastly, live foods. Now, baby brine shrimp is the best thing you can feed them in terms of live food because it will, they're tiny for one, and it's jam packed with healthy things for the immune systems. Get it to them. Eat, all these steps are basic to do. Um, it's not tough, it's the, the, the time and the um, the time and the healthy the healthy food and these little things that you invest into your fry will pay you in dividends later. You will have colorful, healthy fish who won't get sick. You won't have to worry about immune systems. You won't have to worry about colonaris and all that. So spend a little time, get the right gear, feed the right food, basic stuff nothing complex about it and this is not just for guppies this is can this can be for cichlids this can be for mollies this can be for angels you do it they'll thank you for it later on thank you again for tuning in not a hard thing to do but also remember to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our videos love you all take care and bye for now